Parkland Hospital opened the area's first drive through testing clinic Monday. But let's be clear, it's only for Parkland patients, first responders, and healthcare workers, leaving many North Texans frustrated, like Barry Willett, who says he's been denied a test despite exhibiting symptoms of the coronavirus. And you don't want to bother to check me. It's no wonder this thing's going rampant. You know, nobody wants to take it serious unless you've been in Italy, South Korea, Japan, or China. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. On Friday, Trump issued an emergency right declaration right and told the nation help is on the way. I want to thank Google. Google is helping to develop a website. It's going to be very quickly done. But that's not exactly true. While a national website to facilitate testing is in the works, here's what you should know. It is not ready to launch. The pilot is expected to launch next week and will be rolling out in the Bay Area with the hope of eventually rolling out to other areas of the country. The site is not being developed by Google. It is, however, being developed by Verily, which, like Google, is owned by Alphabet. When the website launches nationally, users will be asked to fill out a questionnaire about their symptoms. If they meet the criteria, they'll be directed to new drive through testing clinics. Then test results will later be displayed on the website. Standing alongside Trump Friday were the CEOs of Walmart, Target, CVS, and Walgreens, which have promised to allow drive through testing in their parking lots. No word on when that will start. So there's a lot in the works, but what if you're needing a test right now? Call your primary care physician. They'll be able to test you or get you in touch with a local testing facility. In Dallas, I'm Charlotte Huffman.